If you're visiting Chile, chances are you'll fly into the capital city of Santiago. And while there is so much to see in Santiago, being less than two hours from one of Chile's coolest coastal cities, a trip to Valparaiso is an excellent addition to any trip. Since Valparaiso has no airport and the train line connecting these two cities stopped service in 1987, you'll most likely need to take a bus to get here. So today, we're walking through step-by-step -step how you can travel from Santiago to Valparaiso, Chile, cheaply by public bus. There are two places in Santiago where you can catch a bus to Valparaiso. The Universidad de Santiago bus station and the Pajarito bus station. If you're budget conscious, the Universidad de Santiago bus station is accessible by the red L1 subway line with a one-way ticket costing approximately 800 pesos. And while we took this option to get here, several locals recommended we Uber instead as the subways can be dangerous for tourists. Ubers in Chile are quite affordable and if you do use Uber, you may save a few minutes starting at the Pajarito station as oftentimes the buses from Universidad de Santiago will stop at anyways at the Pajarito station to let on more passengers. When you arrive at the bus station, you'll have two options for buses, Pullman or tour bus. Both companies offer near identical rides with the same amenities and buses leaving around every 15 minutes. So we recommend just lining up in whatever ticket line is shortest. Be prepared for the ticket booth operators not to speak any English, so consider having your ticket order translated on your phone if you aren't a native Spanish speaker. Be sure to have your passport at the ready because they will ask for it. At the ticket window, you'll have the option to select your seats and we recommend asking to sit on the second floor of the bus, preferably at the very front or directly behind the stairwell for the best views. The ride from Universidad de Santiago is approximately one hour and 45 minutes long, so you may want to grab a snack before you embark. The bus station is actually quite nice and has several places to pick up snacks. We highly recommend grabbing a hot empanada for your journey. Trust us, they're delicious. So we've just boarded our turbo bus. We're heading to Valparaiso. There was a little spot for empanadas right before you got on the buses, so we're really excited. We got some snacks. Hopefully the scenery will be pretty good, but we'll let you know how this bus is. When you board the bus, head to your seat and relax. The seats are comfy and there's a small overhead bin for any small bags or coats you'd like to put above you. These buses are air conditioned with vents above every seat. You'll also have USB ports for each seat so you can charge your devices while traveling. The views from both sides of the bus are great so you can rest easy knowing you'll see some of this beautiful Chilean countryside. Really quick, if this video is helping you out, please consider liking this video, leaving us a comment down below, and subscribing to our channel. Those actions help us out way more than you might realize. We also have a video covering the top things to do and see in Valparaiso, and we'll be releasing the top things to see in Santiago shortly. We'll link those videos down below, so be sure to check those out as well. Okay, on to arriving in Valparaiso. When your bus pulls into the Valparaiso bus station, you want to make sure you consolidate your belongings and keep track of all your items before you leave the bus. This bus station is much more hectic than the ones in Santiago, so you want to keep a close eye on all your belongings. We actually recommend having your Uber called before you get off the bus, since you want to keep a close eye on your phone here. There are also taxis here available if you prefer. If you are hungry, there are tons and tons of street vendors to choose from as well. When it comes time to catch the bus back to Santiago, you'll want to find a Pullman or tour bus desk and repeat the same process for buying your ticket to Santiago. This process is similar to before, so be sure to follow the same best practice as when you bought your first ticket and you should be good to go. Just be sure to remember your passport. They will ask for it again here. If you have any other questions, please let us know in the comments below. Valparaiso and Santiago are amazing cities and we'd love to help make your trip a success. Be sure to give this video a like, subscribe to our channel, and check out our other videos. Thanks, and we'll see you in the next one. Adios!